you better go away somewhere. Oh, but I've only just come back. Monica, Monica, come here at once. What on earth is the matter? Have you or have you not ever seen me overact? Frequently. It's a conspiracy. I knew it. As a matter of fact, you're overacting now. Oh, very well. I give in. Everybody's against me. Doesn't matter about me. Oh, no, I'm only the breadwinner. Doesn't matter how much I've wounded, insulted. <laughs> Doesn't matter how much my, my timorous belief in myself is subtly undermined. Your belief in yourself is about as timorous as Napoleon's. And look what happened to him. He died forsaken and alone on a beastly little island in the middle of the sea. His islands have that in common. You're trying to be funny now because you're ashamed. You're ashamed because you know perfectly well that you've hurt me unbearably. I doubt if any of you would care a fig if I were exiled forever tomorrow. You'd probably be delighted. I expect that's why I'm being forced to go to Africa. You are longing to go and you know it! Forced. But, oh, Charlie, do be careful when you're there for heaven's sake and don't go having affairs with everybody and showing off and letting down the whole thing. I shall live like a monk. I shall spend my entire time there in a sad, grey, dilapidated hotel all by myself and I won't speak to a living soul and if I die of melancholia, perhaps you'll all be satisfied. LAUGHTER